The views of the guest are that of the guests and do not represent nor reflect the views and opinions of the Lockout Men channel, the recruiter call channel, nor its host. This site content is for entertainment, educational, and informational purposes only. Screams at the trucker and demands he get out of the car. The road rage doesn't stop there as she continues to hold the trucker up. All of this just because the trucker wouldn't let her cut him off in a right turn lane. Before we get started, does anyone want to get out? Today's episode is sponsored by The Ridge Wallet. More on them later. Right here that just came across my desk shows a young lady, a young lady doing some diabolical stuff to force a trucker out of the truck because the truck driver refused to let her merge in. Now you gotta understand, like up here, I-80, it, it is crazy rights and left sides that's closed because of road construction. There is indications miles down the road to let you that either or side is, is coming to a close. Meaning it tells you that you should start merging before the merge point. But see, what a lot of people like to do in those situations, they like to bottleneck. They like to get all the way up there and slow down traffic simply because they want to inch their way in so they can get in the in the front of the line. Now, some truck drivers, I, I, I seen it, especially coming up I-80 every day. Some truck drivers literally get over in whatever lane that is about to close and they slow that lane down while keeping the flow of traffic flowing because a lot of drivers like to bottleneck and just con constrict the traffic from flowing. In this situation right here, we, we get this young lady is mad because the driver refused to let her merge in. Hear the music. Road rage in this video kicks off when an entitled Karen tries to cut off a trucker in a right turn only lane. The trucker blocks her move, infuriating the Karen road rager. She floors it, swerves in front of the semi, and slams on her brakes, coming to a complete stop like a maniac. Now see right there, that's 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 crazy. That that is crazy. And in the beginning of the video, where it actually starts off at, she was trying to get over from a turning lane. Now all she had to do was just put on her blinkers, let the truck driver go, and then get in behind the truck driver. I I don't understand what was the what was the urgency of her trying to cut the truck driver off. Let's see that again. Road rage in this video kicks off when an entitled Karen tries to cut off a trucker in a right turn only lane. The trucker blocks her move, infuriating the Karen road rager. She floors it, swerves in front of the semi, and slams on her brakes, coming to a complete stop like a maniac. She then holds up traffic, refusing to budge. I like this driver because see, I was just talking about depression, mental stability, and stuff like this this is what us truck drivers go through on a daily basis and luckily for this driver right here she didn't get the right one because trust me if she would have got the right one and asked for the smoke i think to her effed around and fucked around and find out would have been realized she screams at the trucker and demands he get out of the car the road rage doesn't stop there as she continues to hold the trucker up all of this just because the trucker wouldn't let her cut him off in a right turn lane. Oh, this is unnecessary. This this is unnecessary. What what's the point? What's the point? What you was going to do? You was going to bait him into what? You was going to bait him into hitting you? Because if if that was the case and you would have got the right driver, I'm sure he would have he would have did that. This driver right here was like calm. Like, bro, I, you're not messing up my day. You messing up your day. You messing up everybody else's day. The trucker struggles to stay calm, but as you'll see, it becomes increasingly difficult. Anyone pulling a stunt like this should have their license revoked on the spot. Well, 
Now, unfortunately, there's nothing else in the video. I, I really, really wish that it, it would have had more to it. Like, what was the outcome? Was the police call? Because a lot of people in the comment section is over here talking about, well, how come he didn't call the police? I don't know. Maybe the police were called because like I said, when we get clips of videos like this, I want to see the beginning, the middle and the end. But we did get a chance to see the beginning and the middle, but we did not get to see the end. I would, I would love to know the outcome. And I dig deep, deep, deep into the comment session looking for the perfect wallet. Meet the Ridge Wallet. With thousands of colors and styles, there's a Ridge for everyone. It is designed for everyday use, keeping your essentials organized without the bulk. Whether you prefer the classic look or the bold look, you'll find a Ridge wallet that fits your style. Crafted with durable materials, the Ridge wallet is built to last with its FRID blocking technology, ensures your cards are safe, making it the perfect on-the-go lifestyle. Upgrade from your dad wallet to your new everyday carry. Discover the perfect match at RidgeWallet.com. Embrace your style, functionality, and security. And don't forget, when you head over to the RidgeWallet.com to make your first order, make sure you use my promo code YouTube10. With that, you would get 10% off your first Ridge Wallet. Thank you, Ridge Wallet, for sponsoring today's episode. To see if anybody had any other information on this particular situation. But unfortunately, I kept coming across a lot of commenters over here talking about well, why he didn't call the police, why he didn't let her in. It was a truck driver's fault, and I would have did the exact same thing. Well, again, we don't know if the police was called. I'm going to assume that, it, that they was, because if I was the driver and she's doing diabolical stuff like that in traffic, she could have caused an accident. She could have caused an accident, and guess what? Guess who would have been in trouble for it? Or guess who would have been to blame for it? The truck driver told Exactly. It would have been the trucker. The truck driver caused the accident, which he didn't. She did. Was there an accident? I hope there wasn't no accident. Was the police called? I hope there was. I'm sure he probably did. He probably sent the information out to the, uh, to the police because his dash camera picked up the altercation. But again, back to what the young lady going to stop him in the middle of traffic, stick her head out and, and try to call the driver out, man. What she was going to do in that situation? What if the driver did get out? What? If he got if he got out, what you would have did? Took off? You're out of your fucking mind! <laughs> because some drivers today that don't have that mental aspect Hey, they would have got out and smooth gave you the smoke you was looking for. See, this is what we go through every day, y'all. This is part of the stress that be messing with our mental stability every day drivers like this man and y'all wonder why we act the way we act in unfortunate situations with us truck drivers on a daily basis because of stupid stuff like this man i don't get it but to answer the one question that why didn't the driver let her over well she was already in the room and all she had to do was just wait until the driver moved up and she could have got behind the, the truck and could have went on about her business. But hold on. What's going on, guys? I just want to stop the video right here, right quick. If you guys made it this far into the video and you guys like what you're hearing, go ahead and hit that like button for me, bro. Hit that like button. It's free. It's free. If you made it this far into the video, man, make sure you hit that like button. It's right up under the video, man. And if you guys like more content like this, consider okay y'all got two options well one 
but two options. You can either subscribe for the channel for more, and if you really want to rock with me and get the videos early, make sure you join. Join the channel, all right? Shout outs to all my members of the channel that rocks with your man. Thank you very much. Now let's get back to the show. But no, she wanted to become a Karen and act a fool that could have got other people hurt. Think about that. Think about that. And drivers, this, this is what we go through. I want you to let everybody know in the comments below that this type of behavior is not acceptable. But this is the type of behavior that be going on with us on a daily basis. Let us know if you was in a situation like this. Was you ever cut off? I know I've been cut off many a times. Was you rage baited into a in, into road rage situation? If so, you got a story? Let us know in the comments below and we could get it on air. Let's talk about this, man. Let's talk about this. This is some of the stuff that is not being talked about. Everybody else want to talk about how great trucking is and all like that, but they don't want to talk about stuff like this. And that's what we're here for. Stuff like this. If you guys have any videos or links or anything that you want me to check out, feel free to send them to me via email. That's lockoutmenpodcastguest at gmail.com or send the links to my DM that is lockoutmen on Instagram. Drivers, y'all be safe out there, man. Until next time, everybody.